we doing, guys? Moose here, episode 50 of our West Ham United career mode, and an absolutely massive game for us, a London derby, a big, big, what's becoming more of a big rivalry here, West Ham United and Tottenham Hotspur. Huge game for us, taking on the champions of the Premier League, obviously. Uh, Tottenham, they've had a bit of an up-and-down season right now. We'll take a look at the table. You can see we are currently ahead of them actually in the league sitting in fifth place four points ahead of Tottenham who are in sixth though they do have very goal differential in this but Tottenham they've won the league obviously last year they were actually languishing pretty low on the table for a while uh, around 10th or so but they've had a lot in their mind obviously they're in the Champions League they've advanced through to the round of 16 of the Champions League so they've been playing a lot of games obviously a lot of tough games a lot of teams coming after them now knowing that they're the league champions but this is obviously a huge game for us because they're really our biggest rival in the Premier League we know Tottenham have Arsenal but really, we don't have our biggest rival here in the league. So closest team to us, the biggest team, you know, especially in terms of league position, is Tottenham. They have some danger men in Dumbia, who's fantastic for him. He's really been a pain in our side. Uh, Erickson sitting just behind him. Lennon and Chadley looking to create havoc on the wings for Tottenham. Coming up against a very strong lineup that we're putting out here. We come back in our 4-4-2 diamond, our 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, with Carroll and Valencia downing Singh just behind. Rabio and Oxley chamberlain looking to provide creativity. And Kiyate, our energy man, our destroyer, going to take out Spurs men as best he can in the center of our midfield, uh, in our holding midfield position. While we have our normal uh, read, uh, we actually have Tompkins in for Nkulu in this game. And then Creswell and Jenkins on the wings, Adrian and goal. So it's going to be a huge game, obviously. Tottenham with a lot to prove. They need the points. While a victory here would really, you know, counteract our form from losing to Cardiff in the last episode and give us a huge bump forward uh, in terms of our performance in the league and hopefully push us here through the rest of the transfer window and on to, you know, arguably I want to finish in fourth uh, or at least top five. That's the what the board has said they want us to finish in. So at least that Adrian here in the fourth minute with an early save. Really good stop on Christian Eriksen. Leads to a corner here. Eriksen will be the man to float it in towards goal. Looking for the head of Federico Fazio. It's just over the top of the goal. They say Adrian actually got a touch to it, so they had another corner, but they weren't able to score from that corner, actually. Keontae gets on the ball, lays it forward to our right back, Carl Jenkins, and he's got acres and acres of space to run onto because he was behind Chadley. Plays the ball over the top to enter Valencia, then takes on Kyle Walker here. Nice little fake shot to cut inside his defender. Eventually gets on his left foot, but his shot just doesn't have a ton of power and it's simple for Michel Vorm to handle. Remember Michel Vorm is their goalkeeper because they sold Hugo Lloris to Barcelona in the summer. That was Barcelona's big buy. The huge buy of the summer window was Lloris heading out to Spain. So we will have to deal with the Dutch goalkeeper in this game. And we do try to create a few chances here. Oxley chamberlain tries a back heel. It doesn't come off, but it falls as far as Andy Carey. Takes it on his weaker right foot, and his shot is always going over the bar. You can see him leaning back there. And he just skies it over top of Vorm's net. Cresswell then with the ball here in the 20th minute. Plays it into Adrian Rabio Out wide, enter Valencia here with acres of space. Nice job getting inside the left back, Davies. And he decides, you know what, I'm not going to have the pace to get past the defenders. Even though Valencia does have good pace, so he just rockets a shot from 25 yards. But again, over top of the goal, not testing Vorm. Tottenham with the ball here, though. Chadley tosses it in. Eventually finds a way to Walker. Gets past an over-exuberant Aaron Cresswell to create some space for himself. Lays it into Dumbia. Floats it over the top. And Paulinho... The Brazilian who's gone through so much stick and really does not feature for Spurs at all uh, anymore in real life. He's just someone that they've dropped entirely from their plans. He scores the goal. He's fa found a resurgence here under Pochettino. And what a goal that is. Just floats ahead. You could say Keontae might be to blame as he lost Paulinho. But it's a wonderful goal. Great flicked on header from the Brazilian. Created by Dumbia as well. Uh, and gives Tottenham the lead. They nearly pick up a second here after a horrible turnover in our own defensive third. Allows Dumbia onto the ball. But we... Do get away unscathed here. And Valencia loses the ball as far as Oxen Chamberlain in the 39th minute into Adrian Rabio, the four PSG midfielder. Turns on a dime, plays it into Oxen Chamberlain. He holds off a defender, lays it through to Keontae. He strikes, and Keontae, the man who you could say was to blame for the goal, has now made it up with a wonderful strike. He absolutely hammers the ball into the side netting to level the score 1 1. It's a beautiful bit of play. Oxley Chamberlain shows a little bit of strength there. Gets a jersey tug, holds the ball up, lays it into the path of Cheku Kiate, and that's a beautiful finish on his weaker left foot. He just strikes through it with power. Nothing Vorm's going to do there. It's perfectly placed. 
and it's 1-1. Beautiful finish. Tottenham fans obviously going to be disappointed giving up a goal very close to halftime in the 40th minute. But it's a wonderful goal for Kiate. Great time to get your first Premier League goal of the season and gives us a 1-1 score. Valencia then in the 47th minute here trying to create, you see, just takes the ball down slowly, 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 trying to create a little bit of space for himself, but the shot doesn't come off, and it's blocked well by the Tottenham defense. Tottenham then the other way here. Christian Eriksen on the ball after we're unable to clear it. Plays it into Dumbia. He has a strike, but a very, very good job done by Tompkins to get a block on the shot, and it rolls harmlessly into the arms of our goalkeeper, Adrian. Tottenham, though, not done with the pressure here. Lennon lays the ball into Kyle Walker. Plays a nice one-two with Eriksen. Dances around a defender, and Adrian forced into an absolutely top drawer save. Wonderful hands there. As Walker tried to go to the near post, and that's an area we know that uh, Adrian struggled with recently, giving up a few near post goals when he shouldn't be, but he does very well on that occasion and keeps it out. Chance for ourselves here as Rabio lays a header off to Oxley Chamberlain. His shot is well blocked by Federico Fazio. Very brave getting in the way of that strike as it was destined for the top corner, but he does really well to keep it away. Kabul then with that free kick in the 65th minute that he decides to go for goal on. You wonder why Kabul's taking it, maybe not Erickson, but he doesn't get anywhere near Adrian's goal, and we do escape. Kiate looking for his second potential here as he lays the ball through to Ravel Morris, who's come on as a substitute. Man who's been known to dominate Spurs in the past, but he didn't make much of an impact in this game particularly. Cresswell gets the ball from Kiate, who's just been all over the field for us. Morrison on the ball, trying to use his skill. Nice ball roll, a couple step overs, gets inside defender, making some space for himself. Floats the ball and looking for Andy Carroll. It's cleared away by Kabul, only as far as Rabio, but Tottenham then do get the ball away and allow themselves enough space to keep things clear. Cresswell then onto the ball with a nice ball played in from Stuart Downing. Out wide to Ravel Morrison. Floats it in looking for Andy Carroll. Cleared away yet again. So our, our plan of attack on, uh, you know, crosses in from the wing trying to find Andy Carroll just wasn't working out at this moment in time. You can see it looked like no one was going to find a way through. As Tottenham got pretty defensive late on in the game, as did we. Both teams really, you know, once we got the ball, Either one would try and hit on the counter, but we're you know happy to just sit back defensively. You can see we get men behind the ball here in the 87th minute. Adebayor, who's actually come on substitute, tries to float one in for Chadley. His header's in, but the referee has waved it off. The linesman has raised his flag for offsides, and it's a great call. Uh, you can see Tompkins does wonderfully stepping forward here, drawing the man offsides. Uh, so it's a great header, well placed by the Belgian Chadley, but fairly said to be offside. And then Diafra Saku comes on as a substitute in the 89th minute, trying to take a little bit of skill and pace to the Tottenham attack. He does really well, holds off defender, plays it through to Oxley Chamberlain. Could the man who couldn't finish against Cardiff City give us the winner? Yes, he does. Alex Oxley Chamberlain, the former Arsenal man who knows all about Tottenham Hotspur rivalries. What a finish that was. So cool calm and composed he gets played through does really well just a simple move inside to get around the defender ben davies vorm decides to rush out and he catches him off guard with the simple finish into the bottom corner lovely goal from the ox and you have to say it's made by diafra Sacco. full credit to the substitute making the most of his opportunity getting on the ball using his pace and his ability to hold off defenders, run with the ball, and then play a beautiful through ball to Oxley chamberlain who made the most of it. For his sixth goal in the Premier League, I'll tell you what, for all the lack of finishing he's had, he's done very, very well in terms of goal scoring, especially playing as a central midfielder in our diamond, getting six goals from central midfield is absolutely fantastic from him. So can't say enough about Oxley chamberlain He's done really, really well in this game. Uh, and Tottenham's last few chances are trying to play the ball in, a couple of crosses, but those fail to come off. And with that, that we do hold on pick up a huge three points away Oxlade Chamberlain you can see saluting the West Ham fans for the excellent support they've shown and a huge absolutely massive victory for us I'll tell you what wonderful wonderful performance from the lads and so you can see we did hold the balance of possession but the scoring chances were very even and this was an absolute end-to-end -end contest one of the most fun games I've ever played uh, it was really great. Moose's Mighty Hammers points, of course. Oxley chamberlain FIFA's man of the match in mine as well with three. Kiate, who played really, really well with two. And Adrian, with some wonderful saves, gets one. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously, a huge rivalry game. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye.